uh, lastly, uh, wanted to just uh, acknowledge uh, two folks from the Angola Cables team that are in the room. First is uh, Angola Cables board member, uh, Pedro. Pedro, if you could raise your hand. Uh, I've had the pleasure of uh, spending time with uh, Pedro in Angola, in Luanda, in West Africa, uh, as well as in uh, New York and here in Hawaii. And uh, uh, his commitment and his vision to Angola's growth uh, to really change the next 25, 30 years on the African continent is uh, quite sincere. A uh, man of mission and vision, uh, he's really um, looking to grow Angola Cables as a uh, IT hub. Uh, and I think uh, they have an impressive story and vision that they're trying to explain to, to the world. And hopefully today we'll be able to share a little bit more. Uh, also, Ariette uh, is here uh, from Angola Cables, a commercial manager. And uh, <laughs> Ariette is, uh, uh, this is her second PTC, I believe. Uh, second time to Hawaii, a uh, little bit jet lagged because the flight from uh, Angola was about 35 hours. That seems like it, but uh, uh, it's, it's all good. And we're, we're great to have, uh, yeah, glad to have you here. Right? So, without uh, further ado, uh, I'd like to introduce our first speaker that's going to present the uh, overview of uh, Angola Cables, uh, Mr. Arthur Mendez, the Chief Commercial Officer of Angola Cables. Arthur has uh, got an illustrious background with uh, Nokia in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. And uh, we've had a chance uh, to work with Arthur over the last uh, two and a half years. Uh, uh, Consider him a very good friend and industry colleague. Uh, pleasure working with him. And if you could give him a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Eric, for your nice words. Thank you all for coming and being present with us. Uh, in, in fact, I will only present a few slides because we would like to pass you some more technical information. And for that, I'm not, not the, the best person to, to do it. But, uh, but we, we thank you again for your presence, and uh, you could feel well with us. I'll just, just speak uh, a bit uh, about uh, Angola Cables, a uh, uh, small overview. So Angola Cable has been created in 2009 by the five uh, main uh, Angolan operators uh, that, that, that we put see in the slides. So Angola Telecom, that is the incumbent operator. And we have two mobile operators, Unitel and Movicel. Uh, MS Telco, that is the telecommunication arm of the oil company of Angola. And also Startel, that is also a fixed operator. So it was uh, joining this, all, all the, the, the needs of these uh, operators, plus the, the division of, of, um, of the government strategy uh, to try to, to make it a company that, that could really transform Angola into uh, one of the main telecommunications apps in Africa and really to try to develop uh, the telecommunication sectors in Angola and in Africa and be able then to, uh, to uh, have good interconnections between uh, Africa and the rest of the world. Uh, Africa is, is, is a region that is growing at a very healthy pace where uh, a lot of things still needs to be done. So. Uh, we really would like to, to help and to, to, to have a key role on that on that, that development of Africa. Speaking a bit uh, about Angola, Angola has an estimated population of 24 million, uh, but 60% are under 30%. So it's, it's a very young uh, nation. Uh, and normally, I say this is very positive because, of course, uh, young people normally are uh, early adopters of uh, new technologies. And, and we could see that Angola is taking, is taking out, uh, taking uh, also a uh, good development on this side, but there's still a lot to be done. When when we started to, to see some some of the numbers, of course, in terms sorry, in terms of internet penetration, I'm sorry, in terms of internet penetration, the rate is still below 20 percent. We are still uh, a little above the, the average of Africa. Africa is at 19.3 at this stage, uh, so Angola is, is still still below that. Uh, on mobile phones, we are quite aligned with, with the rest of Africa, that is normally uh, still uh, below 60%. Uh, and just, just for curiosity, if we look for Facebook, that normally people now compare as uh, one of the big nations, if we put on to all the Facebook users, uh, we are still below 10%. So there's uh, plenty of space uh, to, to, to grow in, in Angola, as uh, in Africa, as uh, an overall. But true is that uh, Africa is, is jumping some of the steps. So Angola has been the first country in Africa to have a 4G uh, networks. So uh, the country is very well covered with 3G and 4G networks. Fiber uh, has been developed in the country. Every we have more than 20,000 kilometers of fiber already in the country. So uh, 
the, the, in, terms, in terms of technology, uh, the country is, is working uh, and evolving very well. In terms of the big projects that we'd like to, to present it here, and, and Joel and David will present it. Uh, so uh, just to give you, so we'll speak about Saxon Monet. I just would like to clarify, because even on the sheets, we have still Cota. Uh, Cota was the name uh, that Angola Cables used before for Monet. Monet was a confidential uh, name uh, for the project, so we cannot use it. So uh, as, as a marketing in Angola, we normally call it uh, Cable of the Americas. That's why uh, some, sometimes we'll start still seeing Quota because it was the old name. Now Mune is a public name, we could announce it and we could use it, so we'll, we'll, we, are, we are using it already. Uh, and well, also, also we have uh, Wox Cable, that is this one that, that appears uh, from the UK down to South Africa, touching three European countries, that is UK, Canary wow. Islands and, and Portugal, and of the 11, 11 countries. These have been uh, the, the one that we have been selling so far, and, and we are proud to say that we are the second uh, operator with most capacity activated here, so there is only MTN in uh, front of us, that is, uh, is a good achievement for us. But of course, the, the main project that, that, that we are now uh, speaking is about SACS, connecting uh, Angola to Fortaleza in Brazil. Uh, this is another percent Angola Cables project. Uh, uh, and you hear more about it, and, and money uh, from Santos to Fortaleza and up to Miami, and this is a consortium, uh, and you, you hear uh, more, more about it. Okay. So. system between Brazil and Florida, uh, giving a brief technical overview of the summary and the current status. Um, Joel has been the Monet lead for Angola Cables for uh, over the past two years and working on uh, all aspects of uh, contract formation, technical definition, and negotiation. Uh, Joel's going to be continuing his role as the lead project uh, implementator for the Angola Cables system. Uh, he was recently elected joint chair of the purchaser group by the Monet uh, system, where you will represent the interests of all purchasers for the Monet system implementation. So, go. Okay, thank you, Eric. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Artur. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, thanks for coming this early. It's good to see a number of familiar faces in the room. Um, for those that don't know me, my name is Joel Pang, as, as Eric has said. Um, and I've been working uh, with Angola Cables for more than two years now on the Monet project. Um, so, as a bit of uh, background, before we get into the details, the, you know, some people, might, some people might ask why it's taking two years. So there's a number of things that have happened so far. There's been uh, a drive also to find partners to come in uh, on the system with us. And that's not an easy task, um, as well as finding the partners. And once we've found the partners, we've had to draw up a contract to find the technical definitions of the system, um, specifications, and lastly but not leastly, uh, agree a joint build agreement. So to the, the, the find the relationship between the uh, purchasers. So that's the last two years in a nutshell. So. Um, it's good to be standing here now with a, with a story to tell. Um, so, you know, we've come a long way already. We've got a way to go still, another couple of years. But uh, it's, it's good to be here with, a, you know, with, a, with something, something happening. So, what is Monet then? So, Monet is obviously a new system from Florida down to Brazil. You can see it there on the, on the map down the east coast of Brazil. Oops, sorry, wrong button. It's got three landing points, Boca Raton in the north, Fort Leza, and Santos stroke Sao Paulo in, in Brazil. It's a trunk, trunk branch system, so it has a 10,500 kilometer trunk with a branching unit of Fort Leza for, uh, for fiber drops and wavelength drops. 
Uh, it's a six fiber pair system on the trunk. Um, and, and yeah, as I said, it's a, it's, it's a wavelength or a, and a fiber drop branch unit. So in summary, it's a turnkey supply from Subcom. There are four money purchases involved, and that changed over the previous two years. There was a lot of toing and froing, and we, we went in with different partners who couldn't, couldn't make it in the end, and, and this is the four that, that managed to get to the, to the finish line. So it's obviously going to go to cables. We also have Google. <coughs> we have Algo Telecom, which is a big telecoms company in Brazil, and we have Antel in Uruguay, which is the state operator. The system is set up so that Angola Cables owns the dedicated fiber pairs in the system, as do all the other three. So there are six fiber pairs, as I said. Angola Cables will own two, Google will own two, and each of the others will have one fiber pair each. So this is a, just a summary overview of the fiber pair configuration for Angola Cables. As you can see, Boca Raton, Fortaleza, Santos, there's a single fiber pair with fiber, fiber drops into Fort Laser via the branch unit, and a second fiber pair with uh, express capability and wavelength drop capability um, for, for customers that want an express or, or uh, to, to expand our drop capability if we need it. So the total capacity of the system um, it's 120 by 100 gig on the drop fiber pairs and 100 gig, 100 by 100 gig on the express. As I said before, 10,500 kilometer trunk. This is the last slide. So it's just a, a summary status of where we are. So as I said before, we have a joint build agreement between the money purchases signed and in place. The supply contract with Subcom was signed on the 9th of August last year, and it came into force on the 8th of October last year. So we're already three months into the project. Full funding is in place, all purchases paid, and are finally committed. So there's no going back from here. So in terms of the, the work that started, the marine survey has started, it's underway, permit applications are underway, the manufacturing process has commenced. Um, and the, uh, just, just for information, really, the marine installation program is, is the middle of next year with an RF, RFS date for the end of 2016. So if anyone has any questions, they can ask me them now or we can tie up afterwards. I'll be around after the meeting. But um, is there any questions at the moment? Yeah, thank you. The landing party in Boca, is that It is. So the, the landing party in Boca will be Google. In Fort Laser will be Angola Cables, and in Santos will be Google. Okay, uh, and so you're building a new cable landing station in Boca? We're, we're building uh, a new cable landing station in Fort Laser and Santos. Uh, I'm not sure yet what Google are going to do. We have an option to build one, but we also have an option to go into existing facilities, which is the preferred solution. Thank you. What is the construction cost of uh, money? Construction cost? I don't know, I don't believe I'm allowed to disclose the construction costs. Okay, so that's it from me on money. I'll pass you back to Eric briefly. Thank you, Joel, for that comprehensive uh, overview of the uh, Brazil-Florida money system. Uh, I think the key point uh, that Joel certainly made was that the full funding is in place. There's been a lot of deal fatigue, a lot of fatigue about systems that are talked about that don't come to fruition and that don't materialize. Um, this is not one of them. They're going ahead. So uh, if there's any key takeaway or message that we want to make sure that everyone leaves with today is that the system is going ahead. Okay, uh, I'd like to uh, call up to the podium uh, for the next uh, part of the uh, DGM presentation, uh, the South Atlantic portion, uh, the SAC system, 